Hi, my name is Brian Nosek. I am a professor of psychology at the University of Virginia and executive director of the Center for Open Science. And we organizationally have thought about the issue of open access in a very broad remit, uh, which is not just thinking about the publication and the accessibility of the outcomes of research, but on the real importance of opening up the entire research life cycle from the origins of the ideas, from the commitments that we make of what it is we're trying to do in that research, which things are planned in advance, which things are unplanned and going to be discoveries and exploratory, through the production of that research, what data gets generated, what materials are used to generate that data, what analysis scripts and code are applied to that data to come to the ultimate inferences and reports in the, uh, in the outcome. So the reason that all of that work to me is so critical uh, for the notion of open science is that part of the credibility of those outcomes is contingent on knowing how they originated. Was this the result of a planned analysis where we had a hypothesis that we were confronting with the test? Well, I need to be able to see uh, that what the plan was and that what you reported is consistent with that plan before you observe the data. Uh, is the finding that you have reproducible uh, based on the data and the evidence uh, that you collected? Uh, well, to be able to assess that, I need access uh, to the data. So the notion of just the outcomes being reported to me is just uh, a starting point in how the open science movement, starting with open access, let's make the publications available to accelerate the visibility of that information, the reusability of that information, uh, the equity of access to that information. Uh, and now we're really looking at how is it that that can be extended, extended in such a way so that not just the equity and access uh, to the in outcomes uh, and the products of research are available to all, but also that the actual credibility of those claims can be assessed and built upon and extended in the most efficient ways possible. So. The open science movement, I think, is evolving from what is a real critical point of trying to open up the end uh, to trying to really facilitate access to everything. And one of the roles that we play at the Center for Open Science is providing an open infrastructure called the Open Science Framework that helps researchers manage their collaborations and all their data and materials and registrations during the life cycle. And then when they're ready, make whichever parts of that publicly accessible that they can so that you as the reader can see how it is that I arrived at the claims uh, that I generated uh, in the work that I did. Thank you.